When Maywood Elementary School in Hammond, Indiana decided to re-roof four of their five buildings, they called on the architects at Fanning Howey for assistance. They found that the roof didn't allow for any ventilation underneath the shingles, which can easily lead to problems such as ice damming, increased cooling costs, moisture buildup, and early shingle failures. To avoid these problems and create a cool roof system, Fanning Howey recommended ventilating the roof and installing a vented nail base. However, a vented nail base was only part of the solution. They still needed to get the air in at the eave and remove the hot air at the ridge. To help tackle the issue of creating intake venting, they contacted Metal Era. Based on the roof conditions, Metal Era's technical department calculated that 24 square inches per lineal foot of net free area, or NFA, would be required and 1,848 lineal feet of high-perf vented fascia was ordered in that NFA. Gary Maris and his team of Maris and Son Roofing in Hobart, Indiana, were charged with installing the ventilation system and bringing the architect's vision to life. Maris and Son had been using Metal Era's fascia and coping for the last 25 years, so they felt quite comfortable installing one of the company's new airflow solutions for the first time. It was a little uh, learning uh, curve. It was, it was short. We're doing now, uh, I would say that we're getting uh, at least 36 foot an hour on. That's complete. That's putting, taking the old gutter off, putting the uh, uh, you know the system down, and putting you know the gutter back on. So we're we're doing pretty good. After Maris's team installed the miters, they secured the flange of the backer assembly to the top of the roof. Next, they put the perforated screen into position and fastened it both underneath and through the front face into each Z. Then the backer assembly was fastened to the fascia board with a fastener placed at every vertical Z bracket. Next, the bottom of the cover was hooked underneath the drip edge of the perforation and the cover was fastened through the pre-punched slotted holes. Lastly, they peeled off the protective masking. With the intake venting at the eave complete, it was time to turn to the peak and ventilate four hipped roofs. When ventilating, it is important to create a balanced system with equal amounts of intake and exhaust ventilation. This is notoriously difficult to achieve in hipped roofs because the eave to rake ratio is essentially non-existent. A traditional length of ridge vent just doesn't work, so they needed to explore other options. For that, Fanning Howey once again looked to Metal Era. Working with the architect, Metal Era's engineers developed a custom peak vent that met Maywood's specific ventilation requirements. To install the vent, Maris's team cut an opening at the peak of the newly shingled roof. The mounting bracket was then caulked and fastened into place. After the perforated screen was set on top, it was fastened, and the Z-brackets were attached to each side of the screen for added support. The cover was then slid on, and the fourth side was attached. The product that came, it came on time, you know, after we ordered, and uh, they came out, and actually we did uh, on-site uh, make sure the system was gonna work. Uh, we got the product, we started putting it on, and we haven't had any problems. We would uh, definitely use the product again. We know that uh, the air is flowing out because uh, you almost can, and when you get on the top of the roof on, you can feel the air you know, flowing. For more information about Metal Era and our commercial roof ventilation systems, contact us today.